Good morning, planet internet. Rise and shine. I've started very early to finish my art project on the back of the wall. Not gonna have enough time today. Too early. I'm not done yet, but it looks really good. I gotta go to work. Oh, that's looking really rad. Fully suited up, ready to rock and roll. Today is going to be a very big day for me. No fooling. This is more of a Dear Chipotle letter. We just went to Chipotle, Chase and I, if you want to be in there. We just went to Chipotle, and I wanted to share with you a fine example. I had to talk to the guy who was rolling the burrito, but I want to demonstrate. I eat Chipotle three times a week, and I have an expectation of my burrito. When you set the bar in the burrito world, you can't go under it, and I know bad from good. So I'm gonna go ahead and just point out that this burrito and this burrito are the same burrito. Just you can already see something's not right here. Something's a little bit edgy. Those of you guys know how much I love Chipotle. There is a technique in the, the world of Chipotle needs to know what they're opening here and what they're looking at. This is my critique. Already there is a piece of steak. I don't know how it fell out unless the person thought that this was a tortilla and he could continue to roll the burrito into the foil, which is not the right that way. It was happening a little bit. And it was happening. He was trying to like force it in there. Also, let me roll it on its side here. It's all exposed. If I'm in a three piece suit in my car, I can't touch that burrito. I have to use like the foil. Now watch this. So I actually stopped him and I said, you gotta do this right. This isn't how you do it. Normally what people try to do, there's two ways to do it. They'll grab the tortillas and they'll stagger them sideways or they'll stagger them front loading. I call it front loading. This is a front loaded one. Look, it looks actually like the, the picture on their marketing, mm -hmm. like a perfectly rolled foil. Now watch how this is done right. I, I'm not even sure how that piece of steak got in the foil, but we'll take it. Um, but look at the front load on this thing. He did it right. What you do is you stack the burrito this way. This one was stacked like this. So he tried to squeeze all the ingredients in like some sort of long Cheech and Chong tube joint burrito versus if you stagger it like that and you grab the wrap and you pull all the ingredients, maybe this might be the training video for Chipotle to use. You open this up, look, there's, there's nothing, nothing spilling out. Look, as I roll it, look, the whole thing. Look, look, I can handle this. I could set this down on my lap at the crease. Okay, there's a little bit of walk, whatever. I'm not gonna complain about that. But look at that, man. You can handle that thing and, and just like fist it and shove it in your mouth. This is, is a piece of shit. I hate this. This is very sad. So anyway, I thought I would point out today the difference. It is National Burrito Day. And I'm gonna give this one a chase. But I know what it's supposed to taste like. This one is gonna be mine, and I'm gonna have to do a little bit of open burrito surgery oh just my. to fucking make. Look at this thing. This is a goddamn taco. It's getting look worse at this thing. by the second. A, how could you eat this on the go? This is a criminal. A criminal. And I even told the guy, he walked up and I go, he's the master. Look, I can see, I can see the flaw in his plan all, already. He went lengthwise. So what I do. I open it up and grab the burrito. If I can have to, <laughs> I have to do it. have to do it, right? He should have grabbed all of these. Is there four? I thought I saw four. Uh, yep. What he should have done was they take all of the ingredients, and now it's all like so mixed up that I'm not even gonna identify the separate parts. But if they would have laid out the tortilla the right way, now, half my lettuce, I'm gonna have a bite of lettuce, I'm gonna have a bite of beans, right? If you would have grabbed all the ingredients, I'm trying to keep them all separate so it's not just, you know, a, a turd. If you would have just done this and put all the ingredients this way and then they roll it forward, carefully paying attention to those sides, here's that piece of meat that's stuck in there, and then keep it rolled and then continue to roll the burrito. Now, I don't work here, 
so I'm not a, I'm not the best at it. But that at least me. At, at, I, even if they did this in front of me, <laughs> and they did a little packaging, I I would be less offended. So Chipotle on this National Burrito Day, not cool, man. I shot this whole video about my Chipotle burrito, and I haven't shot anything anything since then, but. Uh, I'm looking at my office and I'm not happy with the way it looks. The appearance of it, the layout, and you'll see like my backdrop for my videos. Many of you guys recognize that backdrop, but really like I want real estate. Like that's a sales thing. That's a godfather. That's a really cool godfather thing. That's a rhino and there's all my awards, but it just doesn't look right. Now it just, I, I don't know if I want to say trashy, but I want the background to look really nice for videos. To mention, I never open this window because to sit at my desk and have that window open, I don't see anything but the sky and it's super bright and it gives me a headache. So I want to have the window at my side and I can open it and enjoy the natural sunlight but have it come in off the side of my face and not have to like be blinded by it. Also. These fluorescents are not natural daylight. I need to get, I don't even know what the sizes are, but uh, probably have the maintenance guy, I'll ask him what they are and change them out because I want natural daylight.